Alright, see if I can make this a quick video, just wrapping up some comments and such. Um, this guy, some other people wanted a response, and so I'll give them what I can. Um, so I'll do this one last, this is the economics stuff. Um, some little snarky putts, whoops. Um, <laughs> creep, uh, asshole, jerk, fucktard. Uh, let's see, what the hell do I do with this window here? Um, I have to comment on this, uh, what the fuck video, and so I just wanted to, you know, respond to this crap. Um, I also notice that there are people who just, you know, they just keep making more than one comment on a video. And it's just like, fuck you. I mean, why are you doing that, you spamming asshole? I mean, really, so I'm going to make some sort of rule. You get maybe two or three comments, and that's it. If you can't, if you can't say what you got to say in two or three comments, fuck you, just go somewhere else. Fuck you. <laughs> it's just bullshit. You're just spamming. You're just saying, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Why Why do you have a right to keep doing that? You just don't. Fuck you. Um, Alright, so this Ganurthra. Stupid fucking ass name. Some scurvy little retard. Um, but again, these these people, I'm just so sick of these liars. This is another liar. <laughs> you know, your allegations against charity colon water. Yeah, that's a real catchy name. Um, yeah, you don't even concern to me. So I took a look at their website. All right, did you take a look at the parts I was referencing? Have you quoted me anywhere in this? No. So you're just, you're just full of shit. It seems they have a setup with Google Maps that lets people see the wells that they made across the globe. Yeah, just like care can send you a picture of little Julieta you know, that you're, you know, taking care of, and here's a picture of her uncle, and yeah, you saved their lives, and blah, 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 and they send the same picture to, you know, 24,000 people. Um, yeah, really, so if you read their website, you'll find out that they work with a bunch of other charities, okay, and so, yeah, they're all taking credit for the work of all the other charities, including their charity, and um, I didn't make any claim they didn't dig any wells. I made the claim that they're digging wells in some sort of capitalist manner in a company already exploited by people and that there's probably nobody doing any kind of real engineering to figure out whether it's a good idea for them to pull water out of an aquifer. Hmm. Yeah, and you would just ignore that though, of course. I'm curious as to what you have to say regarding photographic evidence of the wells. Well, again, I, don't, I didn't contend there was no wells. I even referenced the wells. I referenced the entrepreneurs being paid money to dig wells. So where did you get the idea that I said no wells are dug, fucked hard? Oh, that's right, because you're a liar. God damn. Uh, and how it impacts your claim that charity is just a sham. No, I said their website is a sham. I said the whole idea of their charity is a sham, that they've just contrived this to make money, to give, get a nice living. All right, that's a lot of charities are. And they've built the whole charity system to appeal to people who are in that business, who, who, like the amazing atheists, just want to puff up their own ego and say, I'm a good person. I'll set up a stupid little web page and I'll promise to, what, not wipe my ass for a week if you give me some fucking money to my little fund so I can give a well to some little poor person. They're using people's poverty for their own gain, you dumb fuck. That was my accusation, you stupid shit. So why don't you deal with that accusation, fuckwit? Um, a claim that, uh, I should note, you have not provided any actual evidence to support. No, I, everything I claimed, okay, I supported, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Anybody can go to the website. I linked to the website. So this is just a lie. You're just a liar. All right? So fuck you. Congratulations for being a liar on the Internet. Hooray for you. Stupid piece of shit. All right. Now on to this other guy who I... I, I really like to like, but he's, he's, you know, he just, he says things in ways that just really do just piss me the fuck off. Um, so anyway, we're back to this resource economy crap, which is just that, crap. Um, you know, people gotta grow the fuck up. Um, you know, alright, so, so the first contention he makes in this 38 minute rambly video, which, okay, so it's a rambly video, no big deal, but it's just this, it's just too incoherent, it doesn't say anything concise and solid. It just says some ambiguous thing like someday robots will do everything and we won't have to do anything and everything will be wonderful. Well, guess what? You don't get there. You don't get to that someplace unless somebody does a lot of productive work first. 
to create that world. All right, so we're still building that world, so we still need to be productive to get to that world. And my argument has always been, if you can have that much control over society, if you have population under control and all these other things under control, well, then you can just do the antinatalism thing, so fuck all this bullshit anyway. The argument isn't you save the economy so you can avoid antinatalism. No, the argument is you save the economy because you're probably never going to be able to get people to do the rational thing. So you just try to save as many people from drowning as possible. Um, you know, duh. Um, you know, nothing coherent gets done in chaos, and we're heading for chaos because we don't have economic justice. But the idea, all right, that um, getting rid of legacy wealth is a minor change to the economy, that it would make not a significant, profound, monumental difference in how the economy functions, in my opinion, is just crap. That's just a crap opinion. It's based on absolutely nothing rational. Okay, it would make a huge difference. It is the 90% solution to all economic problems, is legacy wealth, is paying people for not working. Because if you don't pay people for not working, then you will pay people to work. Don't you, you can't figure that fucking out? That that's a huge difference in the economy, where you start paying people to do work instead of paying people not to work? Ah, duh. I mean, really, uh, you know, I really don't want to go through, I've already done my zeitgeist thing. Some of the guy says I didn't do a complete, thorough analysis. I did do it. I said it's completely abhorrent to human nature. You're not going to have any commune any time ever, okay, where everybody's going to get along and everybody's going to do their fair share and all this crap. No, we're going to fight over women. We're going to fight over beachfront property. We're going to fight over the first crushed um, um, olives. It doesn't matter what it is. There's the, there's the first chair and there's the last chair, and we're going to fight over who gets to sit in the first chair and who gets to sit in the last chair, all right? It's always going to be musical chairs. It's always going to be some kind of competition, and so I think it's just grotesquely unrealistic to think you can have some honor society where everybody does the right thing for all the right reasons. Good fucking luck with that. I don't think it has a chance in motherfucking hell. Um, of ever occurring. I mean, like I said, it, yeah. If you if you if you cloned both physiology and psychology and philosophy in people and made them all the same, you have some hope. But outside of that, you have no hope. Um, and I don't even know if I'd want to live in a world where I didn't have the competitive passion. I mean, the competitive passion is pretty much everything that conforms us. It drives us. It's 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 the, the kernel of our of our breathing identity, um, especially as males. I mean, it's it's what gives it's what puts the lead in your balls. Um, so I mean, this is just this is it's just sissy talk. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, this is stupid phantasmagorical worlds of lotty dodness is just that. It's bullshit. And again, the real problem is that we have out of control populations we have all this desperate labor so until you fix all these um, you know unengineered society problems all this unengineered civilization until you start engineering civilization you have no hope and if you can possibly engineer civilization well then you're better off doing virtual reality or doing um, let's just get the fuck out of here um, you're not there's just no point in trying to create some sort of society where we just float around and you know, compliment each other on how marvelous your 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 tie is or something. Um, so whatever, I don't mean to be rude, but your video was just, it's obnoxious, okay? I made a whole video explaining why these things are big things, big changes, and you just trivialize them. Well, fuck you. I'm not making a third or fourth or fifth argument why it's goddamn profoundly different, but guess what? It's profoundly different if 90% of the wealth isn't in the hands of 10% of the people, or 5% of the people. Yeah, that's a profound fucking goddamn difference. Uh, you can't you can't get it? Well, sorry. I've, I've put it on the plate. I've served it nicely. You can't find it. And, uh, you know, sorry. I can't help you any further. Um, but I have no obligation to defend some idiotic notion that people are uncompetitive, that you can somehow not pay them, not reward them with some kind of, you know, <clears throat> value, 
uh, and incentivize them to do something. I'm not going to get off my ass if you give me the choice not to get off my ass. If I'm given the choice to do motherfucking nothing but lie on my couch and dream about a better life, then that's what I'm goddamn going to do. All right? So you're not going to get any productivity out of me if it's all up to choice. I mean, I don't really feel like going anywhere today, and I have to. Okay? So, um, you know, if I had the choice, I'd just say, could I have the day off? And, and, you know, I could say sympathetically, I mean, I really don't feel good. Please don't make me have to go to work. And, and I could say to myself, well, yeah, I, I feel your pain, Gary. Yeah, I think I want the day off, too, because I really don't feel good either. And so then we'll go both, walk off and go to sleep. Yeah, we really won't be very fucking goddamn productive. So if you're willing to take a huge cut in productivity, you can have your resource economy. But guess what? You're not going to be very fucking productive. This productivity, work is work. You know, a lot of work is actual work. It's not any fun, it's not rewarding, it's not enjoyable, it's fucking work. You get done doing it, and you're fucking exhausted, and you're irritable, and it was not fun. That's what a lot of work is. It just isn't a good fucking time. And people aren't going to do it for goddamn nothing. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> just, well, whatever. Sorry, I'm a little bit irritable. People just piss me off. <sighs> And <laughs> you have to go to work, and I don't want to, so I'm irritable. So anyway, this is a video. Um, there was other shit to take care of, but I mean, really, the thing to take care of is just to say that these little, these these asshole commenters who think they have a right, you know, to comment on everybody's comment. I mean, no, fuck you, fuck you. You don't have a right to do that. Yeah, you just really don't.